we're supposed to be on vacation. I don't know about you, but I am having a wonderful time here. You toppled a South American government, Carl. The people have spoken. Viva la resistance. You pushed the resistance leader into a giant fan. He was a traitor and a scoundrel. He was trying to stop you from pushing other people into a giant fan. Oh, that was a foot. I appear to have swallowed an entire person. That would be the hotel bartender. Well, that explains why my mojito is taking so long. It was horrifying. Your mouth unhinged like a snake. Wow, that sounds pretty awesome. I can't go anywhere with you, Carl. That hurt my feelings. Now we're both in the wrong. I want to go home. We're leaving. In that case, I should probably mention that I filled our luggage with orphan meat. What? what? Well, I'm building a meat dragon, and not just any meat will do. You know what? Forget it. I'm not even shocked anymore. Oh, uh, that's no fun. This has become the norm for you, Carl. I'll have to try harder next time. Please don't. I feel like I've been issued a challenge. Carl! It's too late now. You? You? I totally don't remember your name. We've known each other for three years, Carl. And what an impression you've made. My name is Paul. What? I said my name is Paul. Oh. I thought you were a woman. Why would you think that? Mostly the hat. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have some pictures to delete from my computer. 